<clears throat> it says Psalms 125 verse 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Giving all praises on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha Kodash. Double honor the mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yakim Rawai that are sincere and serious to the will of Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kodash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, to you all. I'm the brother, disciple, Kosha Banyamir, from the branch of the Great Millstone, Barbados. Yeah, the reason for this video is uh, I received a call today, and um, there's an area in the north of the island, <clears throat> a lot of people were taken to... Um, to be quarantined because uh, contact tracing later um, there is a family one brother had it and he he so called gave it to his uh, relatives etc so the uh, contact tracing and and um, a lot of people had it down the road you know what I mean so uh, when you receive a call, I tell your brother, well, uh, so that mean you can get a test too. He said, man, they good, man. And he, he, he gave me the scripture here. He quoted the scripture here. You know what I mean? The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Yeah, because <clears throat> regardless of what happens, the Lord is going to take care of his elect. The scripture says, none shall pluck them out of my father's hand. The Lord said, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord. Second Ezra 16, 70, on down. See? So, we need not to fear. Psalm 23 says, Yet do I walk through the valley. Come back to that here. Psalm 23, man. Psalm 23. Verse 4, Yet yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, <laughs> I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. What's the rod and the staff? This knowledge, this truth, man. You understand? This is what comforts us. Remember the book of Romans, just to prove that. Romans. Uh, 15 and 4 for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope so you go back into the scriptures and you will find out how our ancient forefathers dealt with danger dealt with being in precarious situations being thrown in prison man <laughs> that's another one too. Being thrown in prison, that that that's our ass. Um, being thrown in pr prison, man. Yeah, even if you go to Joseph, man. Jo I mean Genesis thirty nine and twenty, and Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai was with Joseph. So, come on, man. Whatever situation we're going to find ourselves in, the Lord is going to be with us, man. And showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. So, she's all right. So, the guard man was, was taking care of Joseph. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatsoever they did, they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with him, and that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, V. 
Yeah? So, I mean, wait, wait a minute, man. What about, what about um, hunger? What about hunger, man? What about hunger, man? Let me see what we got here, man. First Kings 17. Another favorite of mine, man. And and two. And the word of Yahweh came unto him, saying, This is Elijah. It says, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook Cherif that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So the Lord came to Joseph. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm sorry, Elijah, the Lord came to Elijah tell Elijah, listen, you're going so tomorrow. You get me this place, you rest yourself there, you get saying to eat and drink. And that's yourself. You understand? Verse 5. So he went and did according unto the word of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. For he went and dwelt by the brook Cherif, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. Uh, so, <laughs> famine, you can get taken care of. The scripture says, um, because uh, you know your flesh is, it, it start to think. You know, see, this is 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 getting your money, man. That's why I put that demon and dope in you. You know what I mean? So you got to go back to these scriptures and see how our forefathers dealt. What happened with our forefathers, man? Were they let down? Did any ever call? Did he ever despise any that call upon him? Just roughly quoting the scripture, and the answer is no, man. Job five twenty two. At destruction of famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Yeah, I mean, sh suppose you, suppose you, 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 um, you bought a wild animal, boy. Oh, bless. Suppose you bought a wild animal. Huh? Suppose you bought a wild animal. There's one in Acts, trying to remember it. Who was trained, man? Because, you know, in Amos, it tells you, it's as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house. And lean his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Let me find that one. That's an ass boy. Um uh, let me see if I find that boy. That was the apostle Paul man. Look at here, man. Acts 28, man. So yeah, so you get thrown in prison, what gonna happen? The Lord can be with you. Famine, what gonna happen? The Lord can be with you. Let me see if you encounter a beast now. Acts 28. Let me go straight to the point, man. Let me start at one. And when they were escaped, then they knew that the island was called Melita. And the Barabbas people showed us no little kindness, for they kindled the fire and received us, everyone, because of the present rain and because of the cold. So the men, they were being taken care of, man. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. Come on, man, you can imagine that. <laughs> and when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom, though he have escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. See, he was five. And and um, when you read, when you read Sirach, uh, thief of wild beasts slain the wicked. But let me see if the apostle Paul was wicked. It says verse five, and he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Imagine that, huh? Like the movie uh, G.I. Joe, when they had the super soldiers and and they was testing out the serum, and the super soldier put his hand in the cage. And the snake bite it, and they show you inside the arm now, the snake venom going in and attacking the cells. But then the, the, the cells multiplied and, and um, overcame the snake's venom, and it, and it leaked out all the wounds. So in that day, the Lord is going to give his men 
of uh, spiritual power be like you ain't gonna feel no pain. You know what I mean? Come on, man. It says, how be it they look when he should have swollen or fallen down or fallen down dead suddenly, but after they had looked a great while he saw no and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Yee. Ah, uh, what about if you're being beaten, man? Suppose you get beaten, man. Uh, there's another one that asks, man. There's another one that asks, man. That's. Yeah, Acts 5 and 40. And to him they agreed, and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing <laughs> that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. They didn't suffer according to the world as a murderer, as a thief, as a busybody. They had suffered because they were preaching the truth. And what is the scripture saying in Luke? See, phone going off. In Luke, it says, What? Well, Woe to, to you if men should speak well of you, for so did then to the false prophets. Huh? And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Man. So the main spirit was, 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 um, the main spirit intensified, man. You see? <laughs> Whoa. Ah, uh, come on, man. Uh, I'm trying to find that priest in Romans, man. It says, uh, neither height nor depth nor that room is yet. Let me see if that room is yet, man. See where you gotta read these scriptures, man. As you get, as you get a little inkling of doubt or uh, what if, go back to the scriptures, man. See that? Deliverance from bondage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Romans here and uh, is Romans here and um, uh, Romans here, where is my brother? And 31, what shall we then say to these things? If the more said be for us, who can be against us? Who, who can stop us be? Have we got Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai be? The, 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 the rulers of the earth? Huh? Come on, man. Jump it down, man. Verse 35. Who shall separate? Oh, I spell it wrong. S-E-P-A. Okay. Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Shall tribulation? We can go through tribulation. Or distress, stressed out, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for they say we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Mosai, which is in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I just want to do this short video here, man. You know what I mean? To the Spirit. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid, man. You know what I mean? Sound. Proverbs 3.24, be not afraid of seven. Let me aim with that, man. Let me aim with that, man. Proverbs 3. 
be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. See? <laughs> we go back here a minute because the point I want to make here. Psalms 125 and 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. So Esau can't conquer the elect. Lest the righteous put forth their hands into unto iniquity. See that? Because if they had to keep on ruling, man, we would be consumed by their ways, by their philosophies, you know what I mean? And, and if we turn our back on the Lord, then we gone. We gone through others, be. It's good to say, when a, wicked, when a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits sin, you know what I mean? Um, his righteousness will no longer be remembered. Just roughly quoting it, right? Psalm 125 and 4, Do good, O Yahweh, unto those that be good, unto them that are upright in their hearts, as for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. And really that is the elect of Yahshua. So yeah, I just wanted to do that short video. Hope it's comforting, because you're seeing a lot of videos with the concentration camps. You know what I mean? Uh, I read one. I read one where um, this this billionaire he he helped he fu he funded some of these concentration camps, man. You know what I mean? You talking about the job, job, job all the time. You know what I mean? So like, where does your fear? Where 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 will you stand? Will you cave in? You know to the beast or? Well, let me let me pull out here. Will I cave in to the beast or will I? Remember the words of our Lord and Savior be. None that put their trust in him shall be confounded, man. None that put their trust in him. That's second Maccabees or first Maccabees. None that put their trust in him. None that put their trust in him shall be confounded. Yeah. Come on, none that put their trust in him shall be confounded, man. Um, I know it's in Maccabees. I know the Maccabees, brother. Right, first Maccabees two, sixty one, and thus consider ye, throughout all ages, that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Or use the wrong word, shall be overcome. Man. My favorite is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Man, the three Hebrew boys. Man, love that idea. Man, I love that man. <laughs> The man was born. The man said, We ain't careful to answer you in this matter. Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us. But even if we don't understand that we will not serve the gods nor worship the golden image with our setup, man. You see? <laughs> yeah, man. Yee. Whoa. Yeah, man. Shalom.